It's time for the September edition of What Would You Make? Hosted by Zaina from OK at Home, Marsha from Marsha's Mush and Stuff, and guest host CJ DIY. Links to all the hosts and the playlist will be in the description box. I have nine of these little drawer boxes from Dollar Tree and I'm going to assemble them uh, three rows of three with my Gorilla Wood Glue. Okay, so I'm going to add some white paint using Apple Barrel Matte White. This is a plaid product, and since the last What Would You Make, I am now a plaid ambassador. Yay! I asked them, I put it out there in the universe, I said, hey, plaid, hook your girl up. And they did. Isn't that fantastic? using my chip brush here i don't want full coverage because this is going to be a very shabby chic worn french country-esque type look so i just want a little bit of white like it's been scraped off and worn off and I'll let that dry and here's a recent upload from our host Zaina this gorgeous metal pumpkin and Marsha she does some really awesome hauls and walkthrough videos along with crafting please check out her channel our fantastic co-host CJ she does lots of wonderful chic DIY styling please check out her channel Okay, these are dry enough. I'm gonna have to put some um, filler in here because some of the boxes were not the same size. I then brushed in a matte khaki from Apple Barrel as well. Now that all this is dry, I'm gonna add stamps. I have these Heidi Swap stamps from Joanne. I'm using the script and the map. Then I added the postage.
kind of got more of the Heidi Swap, but this time I have her florals. I have these three that I'm going to apply with green, a fuchsia type color, and then a pale pink. I love using stamps to embellish my projects and the fun thing about stamps is that you can use them on fabric, wood, paper, you know, whatever type of project you're using and it's so versatile and you can really customize your project like I'm doing with these boxes. I'm going to use this piece of scrap wood. I've already measured it to the top of the little cabinet and snipped it accordingly. So I'm going to cover this with some Apple Barrel white matte paint. I want to beef up the look of the cabinet and adding this on top gives it just a little more height. And then I have some pieces that I um, previously made from another DIY with this air dry clay that I'm going to glue to the top. I went ahead and added my stamps and my little bit of khaki for my piece that I want to go in the front. And here are my pieces that I had previously made from another project that I never got to use. These were just from air dry clay that I set inside of a silicone mold. So what I want to do is take this and have it glued to the top here so that you don't see the bit of unevenness. And I'm gonna glue, I think these will look very pretty like on either side. But I wanna use this metallic gold from Folk Art, this pure gold, it's amazing. It's like spray paint, it's super, super metallic. It looks like something has really been dipped in gold. So I'm going to go ahead and paint a bit of that over these embellishments and then I'm going to glue them down to this. For this top piece of wood, I added the Gorilla Clear Grip along with the hot glue to get it to set quickly. And I used this giant craft stick from Walmart as side pieces for my top. This is dry, I like the way that looks. Now I wanna go ahead to add my drawer pulls and since these are such different sizes, I'm just gonna use my ruler, put a dab of Gorilla Glue and I have these large pearls that I want to use as my little drawer pulls.
I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the bell icon so you'll be notified every time I upload. I do upload videos weekly. These marbles will be the feet. We'll have two, four, six. All right, I love the way my flourishes look on top. So I'm thinking I want another 3D element. And these are my silicone molds that I found on Amazon with roses and leaves. So I'm gonna pick a few of these smaller leaves and just use my oven baked clay. So these will be done in 15 minutes. Uh, and once they cool, I can go ahead and paint them and glue them and it's just that easy you just stick them in the mold and you have a little rosette little rose so i'm going to do a few more and then put these in the oven for 15 minutes i'll link these molds in the description box So I'm going to paint my roses and I have two leaves. I have Ballet Slipper from Waverly, Cameo Pink, Apple Barrel, and Kelly Green from Apple Barrel. All I ended up removing the roses on the top. I felt that I was just being a little bit too extra. And here is my finished shabby chic chest, mini chest. I absolutely love it. I love all of my little extras I put on there. I'm so happy with it. Let me know what you guys think of this and I hope you enjoy the entire playlist. I'm so happy you stopped by and watched my video today.